1942, Mr. Abraham Treyarch Zombie was fighting in the trenches when he had a light bulb idea. What if I make a video game based on my life and call it Treyarch Zombie War Game? What the hell is a video game? And so that's what they did. They added a fun little bonus mode to the end of the latest Call of Duty, and there we go. They called it Zombies. Now, I'm not sure if you've ever played the first Zombies map, but by George, it's okay. It's all right. I mean, it's really outdated now, and by God, does it take way too long for the grinkly, linkly, dinkly little gremlin creatures to get through to the doors. And why can I not knife them through the window? This little goblin ghoul gamer supplement, now known as Zombies, was so popular that the people developing the game on behalf of Mr. Abraham Treyarch Zombies decided to implement more maps. So now, when little Timmy was in the supermarket with his heart as hell mum and he asked her for the Call of Duty video game, she had even more reasons to say no. Until she remembered she had a visitor coming tonight. <laughs> so in the basket the game went. Little Timmy slammed the door of his bedroom to drown out the noise of his mum getting a yoga lesson from Mr. Johnson down the street, started playing the game. He was excited to explore. Verrupt not only being the pee pantiest, spookiest, atmospheriest map in the history of zombies, also introduced little sody pops known as Perca Colas. Now, as a kid, I remember watching uh, the, these YouTube videos by this YouTuber called Edgy EGI, right? Uh, where she made her own Perca Colas. Now, I never did it because my motivation is at an all time low and, um, and, I, and I can't be bothered, truthfully. I mean, it's taken me a literal year to make this video. There's been nothing on this channel for a year. I apologize. But the idea always intrigued me and showed me that they were onto a winner with this grimy, slimy game mode. Talking of slimy, they moved very quickly onto Shino Numa, and they covered that sexy boy in little Scooby snacks so that these little huskies would maul me to death every couple rounds. It's literally my dream. They're really starting to build the hype up around zombies, and I, and I really love this map. I love the next one even more. Now it's time to get more serious. There's something I've been hiding from you. A big dark secret. There's something going on just below the surface, there is a plot. Up to this point, I failed to mention that I have an ex-wife and kids. There is an ongoing lawsuit for the kids. Oh, and also there's four integral characters in the storyline of zombies. Now, I have been ignoring them and I will continue to do so because I don't really want to talk about the story and I think it would make an interesting follow-up video. But I thought it was good to mention now and then move on swiftly. Just like my mum not speaking to me since birth. Christmases can be very awkward. During Doris, we're introduced to a new game mechanic called Pack-a-Punch, which is revolutionary and only cost 5,000 points to make your gun look a bit cool and make space shooty sounds. Other than that, we've got teleporters, dogs, other things. It's a good map. There's absolutely nothing else to do with Christmas, by the way. I just wanted to... Just wanted to put the bow on and talk about my frayed relationship with my mum. I'm making my own therapy. But overall, the map is good. <laughs> but then, we were treated to an entirely new entry in the Call of Duty line. Black Ops 1. And, and it's a lot of people's favourite one. Why is this never anyone's favourite? Come on, look at that. Kino de Toten was a special map. I mean, it was originally made for World at War, but then ported over to Black Ops 1 because they ran out of time. But Kino has a special place in my heart because I had a friend called Kino who came over one summer from Sweden. He witnessed me have an entire summer fling and get my heart broken at the end of it, which is why I don't socialize or go outside anymore. So, you know, I, I remember this map a lot. Have you ever slammed your head against the wall after being chased down a corridor by a guy in a lab coat? He's literally after you trying to shove his little hands in your in your pocket, they're all sweaty, and they're, and they're grabbing all the paper clips and the Mars bar wrappers that you had in there. You've never experienced that. Okay, we'll play this map because there's a guy in this map that does that to you. This map is a lot of people's least favorite map. And I mean, 
it's fine. I, I don't go back to it very regularly. Um, I don't hate myself that much. But the one thing it does have going for it is that I get to play as the funny fish guy from uh, Future Sounds Rama. like someone breaking in. Time for takeoff. I mean lift off. I don't know, but whatever Mr. Treyarch, Mr. Grumble, Zombie Abraham man said earlier, I don't know what his name was, I can't remember. Um, he's released some DLC for Black Ops 1 and I've got a space helmet. Meant to be a space helmet. And space theme, the first map they released was called Ascension. It's big, big rocket, big sickle, Russia, and monkeys, space monkeys. Little Timmy is loving all the zombies content, mainly as a distraction from all the squeaking coming from his mother's bedroom. Buffy the Vampire, Freddy Krueger, Machete, and Straight to DVD Skeleton Man, all on one map. You're blowing my mind, Call of Duty. They've tossed out the trash and brought in the big guns, covered me in big celebrity lube. I mean, literally slathered it all across my body. I'm covered and I'm slipping and sliding all around the place. I'm loving my time. I'm going fast. I'm getting touched up by the dads at the barbecue. <sighs> I think I may have lost my train of thought. This is a really notable map and it always comes up as being the best map ever released. Or at least one of them. But if I'm honest, I've never liked it that much. I mean, I love it in concept, but I, I just don't really enjoy how the map plays. The Easter egg is fun, but I, I don't know. It, it's not for me. I do love the aesthetic, though. I love big candy canes with lights going, going around in circles. You've heard of zombies. You've heard of babies. Have you heard of marital of fair law? Because seriously, I do need some help. Shangri-La was the third map released for Black Ops 1 and I don't like it. I don't like it. It's poo-poo. It's bad. Stop making me play it. It's confusing and it's hard and it's stupid and I don't like things that are stupid and hard because I'm stupid and hard. And baby guns. Baby guns. Remember when I was in that rocket ship earlier? Well, now I'm on the goddamn moon. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm eating moon cheese. I'm just a wallet and grommet moon cheese kind of guy. Sucking up and eating all the cheese on the moon. Yum. Yum. But I never play this map. Because my best friend doesn't like this map. He refuses to play this map. And I refuse to play him. Because I love him. And you don't play the people that you love. Because then you get old and alone. And no one wants to get old and alone. And die old and alone. And die at all. And I'm very scared of dying. So I don't play this map. Cut to 2012. I'm 11 years old. I've got an Xbox and a will to live. I don't have either of them anymore. But I still do own Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2 was where I spent most of my time Call of duty -ing. It's, it's the game that I grew up with. It's the one that really pulled me in. Now, I had played your Modern Warfare and your Modern Warfare 2, but this is the one that did something for me. I really started to get the idea of Call of Duty. It's where I got into Zombies originally, and, and then I went back and played the other Zombies games. It did start poorly, though, for Black Ops 2. The bus on transit. It's not fun. I don't want to get the bus in real life. So why would I want to get the bus in a, in a game? The ideas for the map are great, but the execution really leaves a lot to be desired. So no one plays this map with me anymore. I've got no friends anymore and I don't need them because I've got the bus driver and the Spider-Man villain Electro. So they'll keep me warm. Remember standing on the sledge and jumping off and spinning around as fast as you can, trying to shoot your friend in the face with a real bullet? They made it into a zombies map. I never hear anyone talk about Nuketown Zombies as like a good zombies map, but I really love it. It's really reminiscent of World at War, I, I, I think personally, because you've got such a tight area, it's such a hard map. I, I love it. It's small enough to pose a real threat, but big enough to like actually have a training area. Oh God. <coughs> I always liked the uh, perks falling from the sky. 
I'm not sure people enjoyed it as much as I did, but I quite like a bit of RNG here and there in the zombie map, so it kind of worked out for me. But this map blows. I feel like a yo-yo going back and forth from good map to bad map. It's like custody weekends. My kids, they go from having a good time, and then at the weekends, they have to see me. That being said, I've never hated anything more than this map in my entire life. Except spiders and snakes and global warming and the fact that one day I will grow old and, 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 and I'll lose the people I love and there'll be no one left around me and I'll die all alone, frail and, and, and old. I feel like there's a slight trend going on. But how would you hate something more than those things? I mean, come on, be real. I mean, at the end of the day, this map is like getting a hand job at the base of your penis. I mean, you can feel something, but nothing's really happening. Overall, it's a bit of a limp experience. They made this map in real life. It's like a real life theme park, and I've been there. I went on holiday there. These are my holiday pictures. Look at me, I'm having fun. Doesn't that look like fun? And now I'm back from the theme park. I've got to be honest and say it really wasn't that good. They told me about dead people and made me feel sad and retrospective. And there was no rides. No rides? A theme park. Alcatraz sucked, man. This map is probably my favorite map, and I think that's a common opinion. My friends loved it when it came out. I loved it when it came out. Timmy's mum loved it when that man came. Not out, just... It's got everything you could ever want and more. It's got great training areas. It's got great Easter egg. It's easy, but manageable. I mean, I love this map. There was so much new content in my life, and I finally felt fulfilled. How could I ever want anything more from this game? I don't have a baseball outfit, so you'll have to deal with me looking like a beige bin bag. But they hit it out of the park! It's a home run! <laughs> back to back home runs. After being ambushed, a truck driver finds himself buried alive in a hole. It's Ryan Reynolds. He's in this map. <laughs> what do you mean? No, I googled buried. That's what it said. What? Okay, I've just been informed this map doesn't actually feature Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> okay. Nothing's ever really fair, is it? This map genuinely is really good. I love the classic horror vibe. It's kind of like The Descent, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, Woman in Black. The ghost house is phenomenal. And I love that they put Sloth from the Goonies in it. Three for three. Best Call of Duty ever. Started off slow, but ending it strong. Women love a men who love origins. And I love men in general. They've done it again. Mixed it perfectly. Easter egg, training, general atmosphere. They've done it. It's still possibly the best Easter egg they've done so far. They have not topped this, I don't think. This is the map I go back and play most of all of them. It's, it's, it maybe is my favorite. Another star-studded cast. Hellboy, Dum Dum Dugan, Jeff Goldblum, Felicity Shagwell from Austin Powers. I mean, how could they go wrong? And they didn't. I don't know why I set it up like that. Little Timmy isn't so little anymore. He's buying this Call of Duty all by himself. With his own money. He got it at the local mine. Be proud of him. He won't live past the age of 40. Love him while he lasts. You just knew that Black Ops 3 was going to be special. It was going to be great. I mean, they started off so strongly with Shadows of Evil. I, I, some would say it's complicated, but I think it edges that line perfectly between like complicated and simplicity. It, I really love this map. I would say it's one of my favorites, but I feel like a lot of these maps are one of my favorites. It's like choosing a child. Well, it's not because I wouldn't choose any of them. He's big, he's tall, he's fee fi fo fum he's a giant and he's gonna step on me with his big metal feet. He's gonna just crush me and step on me and make me feel small and pathetic and, and, and little. He's a big, big boy. The Giant is a remake of Doris. 
and surprisingly, it's a really good one. It keeps the map feeling the same, but so fresh. It's nostalgic, but it's new. It's perfect. I don't know how they did it, but they did it. I love this map, and I love big, beefy metal men. The Iron Giant followed swiftly up by the Iron Dragon. Don't go near the dragon. Just don't. Don't go near the dragon. Back to back killer maps. Black Ops 3 continued to be the peak of zombies. I loved the gobblegum introduction in this game. I mean, who doesn't like to suck and chew while they're playing a game? Just another great map design. Just another great Easter egg. Just another, just another, just another great map. I am a personal lover of the bows and arrows, but that's because I was always a lover of Robin Hood. Now, I would say Robin Hood was my sexual awakening, but that was just regular Robin from Teen Titans. And Raven was my goth mommy awakening. <laughs> I can't believe I've just said that in a video. Yeah. But I do like this map. Um, is there anything else I need to say? Okay, I don't like that. I don't like that. Back to the swamp with the swamp thing. It's everything I hate. Swimming, spiders, even bigger spiders. I mean, you might call me a wuss, but if you did that over the internet to an autistic person, what would that make you? Well, it would make you one of the cool kids at school, at least. You'd be a Danny Zuko little greaser. You'd be a cool guy. You'd be a greasy cool guy. You want to bully me? I'll come. You think it's funny to be greasy and make boys come? That's not funny. That's weird. I don't like this map, mainly because I've never really given it that much of a try. So maybe, you know, after all this, I'll go back to it and it'll be a big sleeper hit and I'll make a post about it and apologize. I doubt I'll do that, but I might play it. Russia, dragons, robots. Russia be dragging these robot nuts on your face. <laughs> Got you there, didn't I? This map is absolutely ludicrous. I will say, as Black Ops 3 kind of progressed, I feel like they lost the plot a little bit. They tried to start jamming as much stuff in as possible, and I don't think it works. I know people love every map on Black Ops 3. I just don't. I just, I just think, I just think there's too much. They've, they've, they've gone past simplicity. They've moved past it. They've gone no more of that, please. And I don't like when the maps are solely focused on Easter eggs. This is another map I haven't played an awful lot of, so I, I, I can't say too much on it. But I do feel like this is where they've just added Easter eggs for the sake of it. Like, I can't boot this map up and play it casually. I need to know at least the first couple steps of the Easter egg. And I don't think that that's fair. Now, you can disagree with my opinion all you like, but I, I will never back down. As one of my friends once said on a drunken night out, stop forcing your opinions on everyone. And I will never, ever stop. I will continue. It's the Avengers Endgame of zombies. The end of the line, the end of the story, the worst map ever conceived. I mean, it's not even a map. It's just all other maps put onto one map. And I hate it. It's fine in concept, but I don't like playing it. I might be alone in this and everyone in the comments is like, I love this map, I love this map, but I don't care. I'd rather be punched in the face by a kangaroo wearing boxing gloves than ever have to play this map again. And unfortunately, that's where Black Ops 3 ended. The opposite to Black Ops 2's good ending, this ended pretty poorly. But at least we've got a fresh start with Black Ops 4. New storyline, new characters, new maps, new everything. It's Black Ops 4, baby! And this time we're on the Titanic. And my god, the trailers made this map look insane! But people hated it. Everyone hated it. And Black Ops 4 in general. But this was around the time that people were kind of, I think, getting sick of Call of Duty in general. So I think it kind of suffered a little bit from that. I think people didn't want to play Call of Duty, but they were still buying it. And I don't mind this map. It's not great, but it's, it's okay. But I really love Black Ops 4. And I think people really need to give it a try. It's so much fun. I won't lie and say this map gives the best first impression. But I'll tell you what map does give the best first impression. Nine is one of the most underrated maps in history. It's like waking up on Christmas morning 
and your father has returned from buying cigarettes. I mean, overall, you are pretty confused why it took him 15 years to do so, but you're happy nonetheless. Like I said, I think this map and the game in general were overlooked due to the kind of fall of Call of Duty. But it's great fun. I love playing this map on the weekends. It's literally the only time I have fun on the weekends. I hate those kids. They're driving me up the wall. How come my wife cheated and I have to take the kids on the weekends? She cheated. She can have them as punishment. Okay. Little Timmy is an adult now, walking the aisles of his local supermarket, all on his lonesome. And what does he come across? A brand new spanking copy of Black Ops 4, doesn't he? He takes it off the shelf, and suddenly he's super excited because he's realised they've just announced a remake for Mob of the Dead. With only a few good years left of his life due to those pesky health risks of the mining industry, he picks it up with excitement for Blood of the Dead. And it's bad! It's really, really bad! I've given this map a try over and over again, time and time again, and I just can't find full appreciation for it. Maybe it'll happen sometime. I want this map to be good. I desperately need this map to be good, but it just isn't. It's taken the simplicity away, added m more convolution to the, to the map, and the Easter egg is stupid. I don't like the Easter egg. It's stupid and silly. I'm sure some people have come to love this map. I'm just not one of them. But it did break Timmy's little heart. He was looking forward to one thing. One thing. This, on the other hand, bam, bam, bam. They've taken a bad egg and they've rubbed it off. I mean, they've really polished that bitch into a, into a really golden chicken egg. They've rubbed it off till they struck glittery chicken gum. And I love this map. It's everything I liked about 5 and they've removed everything I disliked about 5. I love Black Ops 4 gameplay on this map. I, I, I think Black Ops 4 gameplay is great. And on this map, especially, it really shines. It shows you how far we've come. I'm gonna go play the map. I, I've got, I've got, I just, I just, I, I'm just, I'm just gonna go, I'll be back. Okay, I played for way too long. <laughs> it's time to get back to making this video. This map is really fun though. I, I'm not joking about that. The only thing I have as an issue with this map is the Easter egg. The Easter egg requires you to hit round 150. Now, I've never hit more than round 40 on any map. So I don't know how they expect me to do that. I waste my life as it is. I don't need to be wasting my life doing that. Zombies, vampires, werewolves. Another three word list. A love letter to classic horror. Do you know what I love? Classic horror. And I love this map. It's just a bit of fun. Yeah, the Easter egg is a little bit annoying, but who has to do that? Not me. And I know I'm contradicting myself here, but don't argue with me. I hate it when you argue with me. Seriously, stop it. If you like to have fun, if you like to play around for a little bit, if you like classic horror, if you like old men, you'll love this map. Do you know what? The new storyline maps, are extremely underrated. I'm not here to say they're perfect because this one is fine. And as I've said before, Voyage is okay. But I think it's a real shame that people don't respect these maps. They, they actually just say they're bad. And I don't think they are. I, th I think they're really good. Now, if you've never played Black Ops 4, I would recommend you buying it. Wait for it on sale, okay? Battle.net, go on sale with the season pass, I would buy it. I think it's definitely worth it. But bring it to Steam, you cowards. I want to play the Pony Wing map on Steam. Oh, it's on Steam. Everything else is on Steam. Wanna... Ancient Evil is a pretty fine map. I think what I've learned from Black Ops 4 is that they really tried to take the approach of accessible for everyone. They wanted a complicated Easter egg for the Easter egg fans, but they didn't want it to be necessary. They wanted the, there to be really good high round strategies. But then they also wanted it to be easy for people that don't do either of those things and just want to get in and play a bit. I think most of the time that approach works. Sometimes it does feel like rubbing sandpaper on your ball sack. And from experience, it, that's not nice. Don't do that. Do you remember when I said I loved Nuketown Zombies? Well, this is that. 
but I hate this. On paper, great idea, but I am starting to worry that they're slipping with the Black Ops formats because on paper, good, yes, but in practice, no, bad, very bad. I was literally just giving them praise. Two seconds ago, giving them praise. Do I need to take it back? Don't make me take it back, because I will. I'm not scared of you, and I've really got nothing else to say. How dare you? You slaughtered my child. Just as I was working on custody. I mean, literally, I would have never had to see them again, but killing them off is taking it too far. Okay, I mean, okay. You've taken the celebrities out of the celebrity map. So what, what, what are we left with? You've gutted it. It feels, it, it feels lifeless. It's fine. I mean, it's a bit like playing Call of the Dead, I guess. But it just isn't. It's like something's missing. Like a missing child poster. I mean, yeah, that's really awful. But there is a little bit of relief because kids are so annoying. But how dare you slaughter two of my children in one game? Back to back. Switch it up, baby. Switch it back. I don't like it. That's exactly what it feels like with Call of Duty Cold War. They switched up the formula, finally. And people hated it. Now, I genuinely don't think that this new Zombies is bad. Like, it is fun and I do play a lot of it. But it's not Zombies. It's not Call of Duty Zombies. I feel like they switched it up too much, too drastically. But then again, Black Ops 4 got hate for keeping it too same. So... You know, you can see where they were at with it. But at least they kept it kind of classic. I mean, you've got the perks. You've got the mystery box. I mean, it's literally Nactar and Toten. No, I mean literally. This map is Nactar and Toten. When I say literally Nactar and Toten, I mean, like, it literally is Nactar and Toten, but now you can go outside. Something I've heard great things about, but I've never done personally. If you remember earlier, I was talking about Alpha Omega expanding Nuketown poorly. This is similar, but I think it does a good job. I actually like this one. It feels natural in kind of remaking a map. It feels like they've added to it, but kept the same things that you love. I, I really enjoy this one, but I do just wish it was in the Black Ops 3 or Black Ops 4 engine. I, I, I just think they've lost too much of what I want from zombies. But then, I've got nothing to say about this. And if you do make me talk about this map, I will tell everyone that secret you had when you were 12 about the thing you used to do in your bedroom. I'm not joking. I'm not playing around. I will tell everyone. So don't pressure me into talking about this map. You freak. Firebase Z shows the worst of the new zombies formula. Every time I play it, I just stand around by Pack-A-Punch the entire time playing Point Farming Simulator. Now, if I wanted to play a farming simulator, then I'd goddamn play one. I've heard great things about Farming Simulator 23, and I'm one bad day away from spending my entire life being a virtual farmer. Now, this map is nowhere near the worst map I've ever played, but I think if you were to encapsulate what makes Cold War Zombies bad, this map has all of it. There's too many boss zombies, the map looks boring, it plays boringly, there's nothing special about it, it's just a middle of the road, 5 out of 10 experience. Yeah, I'm sure you can have fun with it. But I don't want that. I mean, it's just standard. It's fine. It's me after a night out. It's sluggish and wondering when it's going to end. This is fine. Again, it's just fine. I mean, it's very difficult to talk about this area of zombies. It feels so disconnected from the game that I love playing that it does not spark much enjoyment from me. Like I've said, I can have a good time playing the, these maps. Like, I think there's parts that I enjoy. I enjoy grinding for the guns and the upgrades and things like that, but it's just not zombies. When the conversation topic of zombies is brought up, this is not what I think of. I think back to Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2. This is literally nothing. It, 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 it's so non-comparable. I can have fun with this game, but I can have fun with the sex doll. It's never going to be a real woman, and it's never going to be pop sensation Troy Sivan. I wish this game was better. I wish this map was better. I wish my mum was better at being a mum, but these are things that aren't going to happen.
Forsaken is probably the map I play most from this game. Not because it's better than any of the others, but there is something about it that I like just a bit more. Thinking about it, I think it's the visuals. I mean, I am autistic, so I need to be stimulated at all times. I mean, this map has some great features. I like going to get a Burger Boy halfway through my run. It's a nice little treat. I don't want to kill myself playing this map. It plays exactly the same as the other maps though, so... You know, is it really better or am I just using that little last bit of copium I have left in my body? What the hell is this? Little Timmy is spitting on this game and so am I. I mean, he's trying to spit, but the minds have made him really, really unwell. I don't think you want to see him. And he does not want to see this game. I really can't believe they've slaughtered this game like this. I mean, I am a Cold War sympathizer, but I'm a Vanguard hater through and through. I, I, I cannot give this game any credit. Call the police because there's a dead body floating in the river. As it's being pulled out of the river, we're slowly identifying the body as... Call of Duty Zombies? <gasps> I was upset and unimpressed by this game. I mean, I still am. It doesn't get particularly better from this point on. I mean, it's the same map. Again, but so much worse. I mean, it literally... <laughs> just comes down to the gameplay. I don't think Cold War was that great. I mean, I know I'm a sympathizer, but it wasn't that great. So what the hell is this? If I'm saying this is terrible and I'm a little bit of a Cold War sympathizer, how bad is this game? I want to make jokes, but I'm really worried that I'll just stand here and cry. It less to do with the Call of Duty though, because I did just get the call that my kids have been alive the entire time and I have to now have full custody. That's like my entire life gone. <laughs> it re life likes to hit you when you're down. And finally, this map, the Archon. I've got to say, this is possibly the best map ever to be released. Not because it's very good, but because I can finally say it's over. And just like that, it was over. Timmy, laying in his deathbed, put down his controller, because it was no more. There was no more fun to be had. There was no more laughs to be laughed. Timmy was unwell, and it was all because of Call of Duty Zombies. His mother was nowhere to be seen. The men... Well, they were somewhere, and the slip and slide had dried up. But just as it was all coming to a close, Timmy realised that the best Call of Duty was right in front of his face. The whole time. It's Rango. 